one and all, we're going to keep uh, with the uh, tradition of our summer cooking series. We have a nice zucchini um, that I'm going to stuff uh, from the garden. Uh, I usually grow them to get the squash flowers and fry them up, but you know, we end up getting this all the zucchini and people ask me, what do I do with it? What do I do with it? I can only make it so many things uh, with it. So you can see how this zucchini, this is the seedless kind, okay, and I just split them right down the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to core this out, sort of like, make it like an empty canoe, uh, about so thick. And then I'm going to save that pulp and I'm going to fry it in the pan. So um, what you want to do is just very gently uh, start scooping that out and uh, put it in a uh, container, okay, like such. And... Um, Again, if you have the seedless kind, it's it's kind of nice. Um, but if you have some seeds in there, it's okay. You can uh, kind of pick them out or uh, just fry them in there if it does. You know, seeds don't bother you. So, so we're gonna go ahead and do that for both of them, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we have our nice zucchini uh, caught out, and what I did was I took that pulp and I um, chopped it up. I got some chopped olives, some chopped pepperoni. Got some fresh tomatoes from the garden. I chopped up a little bit of those. A couple of artichoke hearts I chopped up. And then I put some uh, three cheeses. I got some Pecorino Romano. I grated in here. A small piece of Asiago. And then a um, little bit of uh, shop provolone. And I just put that in. We're going to dress that up on top um, when we uh, put that in the... Uh, we're actually going to do these on the grill so we don't have to heat up the oven. But I do have the fry pan which we're going to cook these main ingredients in it. Uh, we also have garlic, a uh, little lemon juice, some um, uh, breadcrumbs, some cilantro, salt, and pepper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll get started on the, um, on the fry pan here, and we'll get that uh, mixture going. Okay, so we got our uh, fry pan, a little medium flame going on. Okay, and we're going to start off with some, uh, just a drizzle of uh, olive oil. Okay. And we'll start getting that nice and heated. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put in is our um, pulp, which is going to reduce down. So we'll get that going. Garlic. Okay. It's about a tablespoon. I'm going to put that in there. You can hear that starting to... And the lemon, uh, just usually about a capful, just for a little bit of flavor. Okay. Goes well with the um, garlic and the olive oil. We are going to add a little, a little splash of white wine. Uh, you can use a Chardonnay. Okay, that helps kind of give a nice base. Okay, we're about uh, just a few minutes into this, and um, you hear that bubbling up. And I want uh, a lot of that um, water to steam off. Okay, so we want that to reduce down. So anything wet, uh, usually like tomato has water in it, we'll add that in and uh, we'll let that cook up and reduce down and then we'll add in the other ingredients as, as we go. Okay, so this is what you want to get it down to. See how it's like bubbling? And a lot of that moisture is out and it's down to just the uh, olive oil. And you can add in now some of the dry stuff pepperoni um, and again you know this is all to make the stuffing the olives um, and then we're gonna stuff the, the zucchini and then we're gonna bake it but we're gonna do it on the grill like I said I want to heat up the house it's summer I'm gonna wrap it in foil and put it um, on the grill okay so you can see how this is uh, coming along nicely now okay and again I don't want to overcook it because um, like I said, I'm going to bake this. While we're getting ready, we got a uh, nice bowl. Got our cheese, breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, cilantro. Okay, so that's just about ready. Like I said, we don't want to overcook it. I'm going to add it into the nice bowl. Okay, put our pan there. And we're going to add in just enough to cover the top. And cilantro I like because I love the flavor that it adds in. So you want to sprinkle that in. 
Okay, the breadcrumbs I have, uh, you can use uh, seasoned breadcrumbs, that's fine. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. And you want to add some salt to taste, the sea salt. Okay. Now you can add red pepper if you want to spice it up. I would suggest using red pepper. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to use black. I don't want it too spicy. But if you like the, the red pepper, you can substitute. In this case, I'm going to add a little bit more. Again, you can always add. Um, can't take away once it's in there. It's, so you don't want to add too much. Wicked Good Eats Italian Soul Food right here. So here's we. This is the uh, consistency we have. Okay. And as you can tell, we're probably you know we're going to stuff these. So we'll get that going now. And again, you know, it's not an exacting science. You just want to put it in. All right. And then just kind of fill up fill up those boats as you go with the mix, okay? And we'll come back so I get these all done. Okay, so we got the zucchini nice and stuffed and kind of overstuffed, you know, no problem. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just wanna mix up that cheese so make sure it's, you know, it's all together. I got three cheeses. You can use whatever cheeses you like. If you just like Pecorino Romano, I happen to have a few uh, small pieces of provolone left over and Asiago and, um, and I'm just going to drizzle that on the top. That's what it looks like. Okay. And I guess I'm going to do these on the grill. So you want to, you know, use an aluminum foil is fine. Just about that size. Okay. And what you want to do is just Make like a boat, whole top, because you don't want that cheese to stick. You want to, you want this to steam in there. Okay, so just, just kind of crimp the ends and let that thing steam. Okay, so there's one boat. Okay, so we got our grill lit. That's up on high. All right, and the first boat is going in. Steam boat. Next zucchini boat is going in. So just like that. Not bad. Okay. And we're just going to shut that and let it cook. And we got our... Okay, we set our kitchen timer to approximately 15 minutes. And we'll check those zucchinis once that's uh, done. Okay, so we got that nice steamed zucchini. Mmm, you can see that. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so we took a little piece of the zucchini. Stuff zucchini, we got it here for Wolfie. Go ahead, Wolfie, give it a try. You like it? Oh, yeah. He's going after it. Do you like that, Wolfie? Is that good? Yep. Looks like it's a winner. Oh, he didn't like the olive. <laughs> he spit out the olive. He didn't like that. He likes the other stuff. It's a winner. Hope he likes it.